I think that everybody in our college knew that Sam was probably going on to, to be some kind of TV heartthrob. I think that was in his DNA. Do I have to do what I did when we were bairns? Grab you by the bollocks to make you stand still and listen to me? You're now trying to shame me in front of my own wife. Well, if she's your wife, I imagine she's more familiar with your balls than I am. The relationship that um, Sam and I had already had really helps with the relationship between Jenny and Jamie, I think. You know, we've known each other a long time, we're very comfortable with each other, we have a lot of fun, and, you, you know, we can we can rib each other a bit and, and uh, in the way that, that only people you've known for a long time, friends and family, can actually do. So I can't say if I like seeing Sam in his kilt, I'm playing his sister, I'm not supposed to have those thoughts. <laughs> The pregnancy costume is uh, is quite cumbersome to say the least, and you know I have I have a baby bump, then I have very heavy petticoats, then I have a corset, then I have the skirts and the top. I feel so sorry for women in those days. <laughs> it is possible to deliver a breech baby. I'm going to have to reach inside and guide it out. All right, but you'll be fetching me a good stiff dram before we start. In that case, the baby will likely be drunk too. Then he'll come into the world of true Scott. Everybody's a lot of fun on that set. Um, I've rarely been in a cast full of people who uh, are so close and get along so well. I would say that the prankster in the cast while I was there would have been Stephen Cree, who plays Ian Murray. He's kind of the best at slagging us all off and we just have to take it. <laughs> Slagging's a particularly Celtic, <laughs> Celtic way of saying to, uh, to, to tease somebody.